the most important stories in the world. This is Now Trending on the TJ and Regan Show. You want to feel a little bit older today on a Friday. Uh, Eminem is now grandfather. Hmm. Hmm. That was a little... Hmm. He's in his 50s, I'm sure. Is he? I thought he was probably late 40s. I think think he's 51. Is he all right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, Marshall. Oh, Marshall. Grandpa Grandpa Marshall. Yep, 51 as of October. Oh, he'll be 52 this year. Sorry. Oh, so he's 51. He's 51. (laughs) (laughs) I can't help it. He had it right the first time. He just couldn't stand it. He had to tell what age he was going to (laughs) be. He'll be 52 this year. It'll be 52 this year. It's yeah. compulsion. Oh, it's it a is. curse. I can't help it. But yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, you know, it's okay. Go with him, Haley. Dada? Dada? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, now she's a grown woman, married, now having a baby. So, yeah. I'm grandfather. Congratulations yeah. to him. And that does mean that y'all are old mm-hmm. uh, 100%. for being little high school children when he hit the scene. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hello. Like, what was it, early 2000s or late 90s? I think it was, it was late a, 90s and then. What? I know hour. exactly because uh, I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shades. That was always on the high five at nine countdown. Yeah. When uh, my wife Jody and I were coming back from uh, childbirth classes with our first kid. Really? So, wow. And she was born in the 2000. Really? Yeah, she, was, she was born in um, June of 2000. Okay. So, yeah. You will feel old when you're... Eminem is now a grandfather. Uh, the new Joker movie is that. Is it okay if I just call it Joker yeah, 2? That's what normal yeah, people yeah, yeah. are calling it. Instead but, of the official title, which is Joker. Folly yeah. Adieu. Folly yeah. Adieu. I've heard that people, it, there's a lot of music in this movie. And I've heard a lot of people are walking out after every musical number. So I don't know. The initial reviews, <laughs> not great. Vulture's got an article out today. And it says, why is Lady Gaga so boring all of the sudden? All the all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's true. She's been kind of low-key on these late-night shows, and they think it's because she doesn't believe that the movie is good. She doesn't want to draw well, a lot of attention to it. Right. But why, you know, why does she do it? Couldn't she tell? Or don't they read the scripts? and go? Does she? Because she doesn't need to do a project for the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I think she's just weird. She's just being a different kind of weird right now. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. And her That's what and all what? of them do. They're just yeah. all weird, and then sometimes they get more weird depending on what the situation is. Oh. Yeah, and her and Joaquin, that's peak weird. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you know who's not who's who, who's still a fan is my father. He loves any Lady Gaga project. Yeah. He loves some Lady Gaga. Stephanie Terminata. Yeah. That's right. I like a lot of her music. Yeah. I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. But to hear her interviewed or see her interview anything, it's just weird. It's just kind of odd. And I'm not, I don't think she's that great of an actress either. Really? No. Uh, no. She, I for never... a singer, for a pop singer, yeah. she's a great actress. But for an actress, she's not a great actress. Oh, Lady Gaga. Lady yeah. G. Sorry. Um, and then today is National Cinnamon Bun Day. Love National Cinnamon Bun Day. Just oh saw a God. video on the internet this morning on TikTok. They're now doing tableside cinnamon rolls. Yeah. I don't get it, but. We have tableside guacamole, tableside Caesar salad, and now tableside cinnamon rolls where they just put the mm. frosting on it. See, I, don't I think that. a cinnamon roll and a cinnamon bun are two different things. Mm. I, I, I usually call them two. Like, they may not be. But a cinnamon roll is the one that's rolled, yeah. and then the cinnamon bun would be like a honey bun. It's just one one piece of bread. Oh, not rolled in the, like that. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So is it roll or bun day? It is bun, but they oh. look like cinnamon rolls, like a cinnamon bun. Yeah, people don't really get it. They, maybe they just they don't, don't get, get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so I've got some incredible audio to play. Something TJ has said for years is now coming true. Mm. Coming up next. This is the TJ and Reagan Show. Our friend Richard Ticato, the Richard Ticato Companies, is here, 704-800-4719. So what's up with the feds? The feds have lowered the rate at more than we thought they would. So that means it's a time to refinance your home. Get out of your high mortgage rate that you received over the past few years when you bought a house. We'll do a rate and term. It's very simple, very inexpensive, and you won't even have to have a house payment until 2025. It's crazy. So call them today, 704-800-4719 or homewithrichard.com for the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Available whenever you want it on the TJ and Riggins app. This is the TJ and Riggins show. Hey, listen, when you're right, you're right. Don't you hate that phrase? (laughs) I don't know what that means. But when TJ's right, I will say, oh, no, TJ was right on that. I have no ego about admitting when somebody else is right. Because I don't know a lot of things. So I'm always trying to learn from other people and their experiences. 
And on this one, TJ was right. And he's been saying it for years. And I'll, I'll paraphrase what TJ says. Men, uh, you don't babysit your own children. Right. Yeah, you don't babysit your kids. And they say, you babysitting? No, these are my kids. Just because their mom's not here doesn't mean I'm a babysitter. And I never really pieced that together. Uh, I never saw it in action, but this woman named Brendan, which is a great name for, I kind of like that for a woman. That's, yeah. that's a cute name. Here's what she says about uh, going out with her friends the other night. Ladies, listen up. If you are considering having a child with someone, I want you to think about this, okay? I currently have a two-year-old, another one on the way. I'm leaving my house to go to dinner with friends. Not one ounce of information was given to my husband other than I'll be leaving for dinner at 645. That's it. He doesn't need any other direction because he is her father. And he also takes care of her full time when we're both at home. So just know that before you consider having a child with someone, are you having a child with another child themselves? Yes or no? Ladies, listen up. If you are considering mm -hmm. having... I think... She nailed that one on the head. Yeah. Um, but to go even a little bit deeper in, um, in, in a sociology experiment, <laughs> um, a man um, will act like a child if a woman treats him like a child. So if you want him to be a man, treat him like a man. And, right. um, you know, don't treat him like a child. Say that again for the people that weren't listening, TJ. <laughs> a man will, what is it? it? A man will act like a child if his wife treats him like a child. Okay. And he'll act like a man if you treat him like a man. And yeah, I, I was that way with my kids too. I was I was blessed enough to have a schedule where I could go to all the doctor's appointments. I, you know, I knew what medicine they would take, how many ear infections they've had. I could take them to the doctor when they were toddlers without my wife. And not have to refer to notes or anything like that. And I'm not saying it as a bragging thing. I'm just saying it as it um, it it makes the bond with the children even stronger for the dad, you know, for them to know that you're there as a nurturer and a protector and all all the time, and you know them just as well as their mom does. But where did you learn that? Is that something that came naturally to you, or did somebody have to tell you that? My brother was that way was. with his kids. He's got he's got three. Uh, kids that are much older than mine and i i watched him do that with his and then um i also went to this class called um oh what was it called oh it was called boot camp for new dads and i think they still have them and they had dads who had just become fathers bring their babies in on a saturday and um told about the experiences that we were all about to have and how to do this and how to do that it was really great because I thought it was going to be some kind of like Oprah thing. I was like, I don't yeah. want to go to this. I mean, you know, when I got in there, though, it helped a lot. Really? Uh huh. I'm more shocked that you went to cl a class. I know. I, mean, I, that's... I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but then I went back as an instructor after my daughter was born. That was as a new dad. Was that a fulfilling thing for yeah. you to do? Yeah, very much so. Hmm. All right. Now the mm -hmm. wheels are turning in my head. <laughs> Maybe we get that back but, on. So I now that, that was interesting. Now that they're adults, though, I don't have to pay attention to them at all. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Radio show, podcast. Get the TJ and Riggins app in your app store or at tjriggins.com slash app. Hey, it's TJ, and there is a great place that you need to check out. Well, if you love delicious food with a great, comfortable atmosphere, then you need to check it out. It is called Blackfin Ameripub. It's in the Ballantine area of Charlotte, and it is absolutely wonderful. Everything you want, including entertainment. That's right. They bring the entertainment as well as the delicious food and great atmosphere. You're going to love this place just as much as we do. Go to acetj.com slash blackfin to find out all the information. acetj.com slash blackfin. Point and stare at TJ and Riggins anytime you want on YouTube. This is the TJ and Riggins show. Oh, what a relief. Got big news from my personal life. I'm TJ, and I have a personal life. Um, yesterday, I was freaked out up in this room when I left my house all the way until I got home from my house because one of the things that I have right now that I love a, a whole lot is it's um, it's a thing called the, um, the Wally Jr. Uh, MagSafe phone wallet. 
and it's uh, it's nice, and it's leather, and it holds four cards, and your most important cards, and all that. And it's always on my phone, so I, you know I don't have to carry around a big wallet and all that. But um, you you can get it by the way at tjriggins.com slash gift and promo code TJ gives you twenty percent off. Anyway, my wife and I had been doing some uh, some really hefty cleaning at our house the day before, and I was outside pressure washing and stuff. So I took it off my phone because I didn't want it to get messed up if I got wet or something. And yesterday morning when I got ready to come to work, I couldn't find it. And um, and Jody had told me, hey, I put, you know, if you're looking for any of your stuff, look in that uh, right-hand drawer in the laundry room. You know, I put your watch and stuff in there. Okay. So I couldn't, it was the watch and all were there. My uh, phone wallet wasn't. So that's my driver's license and, and all that. So I had to come to work with no driver's license yesterday. And, um, and as I left, I had to tell Rob, this is the way I'm going to have to approach this because I can't go in there accusatory to Jody. Like she put my wallet somewhere and I, and then I can't find it. Like she, she just put haphazardly put it somewhere. So I got home. She was awake, and uh, obviously, <laughs> and so <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> I said, "Oh God!" I said, "I am freaking out." She goes, "Why?" I said, "I have done something with my my phone wallet thing, and I can't find it. I've looked everywhere I know to look." I said, "I was late for work this morning because I was looking for it. I couldn't find it, and I I just I I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm, I I don't want to have to cancel my credit card and stuff like that. Can you think of anywhere that it might be?" Because I don't want her going, uh, if you think I put it up, so if you're accusing me of doing something with it, then I did, and I don't know what to tell you. So I didn't do that. She looked at me, and she goes, um, did you look in that basket in the cabinet over the dryer in the laundry room? And I almost said, no, because why in the world would I? Why would it be in there? And uh, I said, Oh, you know what? I didn't. Let me go. And I went in there, and there it was. Oh. So, <laughs> woo, so how in the world does a basket in the cabinet over the dryer in the laundry room, how does that go back to, I put your stuff in that drawer, yeah. where, where my other stuff was? She had put stuff there, but then the, I, I don't know. I was setting it up like a scavenger hunt where I'd yeah. separate all your stuff into different spaces. <laughs> yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost like, well, did you look in that? You know, like you didn't look everywhere if you didn't look in that basket in the cabinet over the dryer in the laundry room. Did you look under the ice trays? <laughs> did no? you look in the wheel well of my car? <laughs> you may have put it there. You need to take care of your business. That's what you need to do. More TJ and Riggins coming up. Hey, it's TJ, and it's time for you to lose that weight you've been talking about for a long time. And you think, well, I can't get this weight off. I've tried, and it seems like the only way I'm going to be able to do it is with some of these expensive drugs. Well, you don't want to do that. You need Calitrin. Order Calitrin today. That could help you lose weight the safe, effective way. Go to tjriggins.com slash weight loss. tjriggins.com slash weight loss and try Calitrin today. It's Calitrin. This is the TJ and Riggins podcast and radio show. Hey, sponsored by the Richard Takato companies. All kinds of stuff going on with mortgages and rates and all of that. I hate to sound too technical, <laughs> but if you are in North or South Carolina and you need help and get some money out of the equity in your home, then go to homewithrichard.com, homewithrichard.com, and uh, he's the man. He's the man. Hey. Hey. Um, so, Riggins, I know that uh, you are not, and nor am I, a fan of uh, men in bathrobes. <laughs> no. You Creepy. Know, man in a robe. <laughs> You know, it's kind of what you would you know you would think would be going on in a in a hot tub party or something. Yeah, um, creepy. Yeah, it, I don't think really the look of a man in a robe is complete without a you know a couple of gold chains. 
You yeah. know, yeah. I, I just picture those mob guys going to get a rub down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, I'm going to get a rub down. You're very much on display without being on display for some reason. It's just like, it's too much. It's like seeing yeah. somebody in their underwear. It's like, put it on some clothes. <laughs> I don't mind it so much when they show it on TV if it's a, you know, a guy who's wearing pajamas and a robe. Yeah. It's the naked under the robe it's, thing. It, Perfect way to, to differentiate those two. It's way mm. different when the dad has come down on Christmas yeah. Day and he's got the pajamas on and a robe on versus a guy without any clothes. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. You know, just out. those uh, leather um, mule slide slippers. Yeah. And no and bare leg, no socks. Yeah. Just you, chest hair blazing through the little crack in the robe. Yeah. yeah. Well, the robe is uh, is now uh, on its way to being trendy fashion-wise in really? the fashion world. Yeah. Um, because of, they said, because of COVID and more people spending time in their robes during COVID, it's now made its way into the fashion world because Angelina Jolie showed up at an event or was coming out of somewhere and, the other day and she was wearing an overcoat that was uh, cut and styled like a robe, like a okay. bathrobe. All right. <laughs> But it's not a row. I mean, no, it's not a, a row. But the but it, you never know for for people who can't afford uh, the same coat that Angelina Jolie has. They may just say, you know, I got a nice robe, and I'm going to wear that over these jeans or whatever. Yeah. Okay. But um, you know, I, I, a lot of a lot of women get mad at me for saying certain things, and sometimes I'm aggravating, just joking around and, and exaggerating and all that, and sometimes I'm not. Like when I say that women spend a lot of their time trying to figure out how they can stay in their pajamas longer. Right. <laughs> I know these things. Yeah. I am. I am a. Um, I'm an, an expert on the uh, the female behavior in our culture, and I've observed yeah. that women love finding any reason to stay in their robe and pajamas longer either up into the day or get to wear them to work or on flights or wherever else. You know, that's why they come up with wear your pajamas to work day. Yeah. You know, as a theme for work or at the school for the teachers and the, you know, whatever. Yeah. And this is a prime example of that. Now it's let's make robes designer fashion. wear. It's fashion. Yeah. Hey, uh, you can't tell an employee to like not wear their robe. She's like, uh, this is fashion. I mean, you can see <laughs> yeah. how that would turn out. Right. Yeah. But you it's, can't wear yeah. your pajamas. This is fashion. My wife has about a minimum six robes hanging on hooks in, on the door in our bathroom. Six robes? Yeah. She <laughs> always has a variety. <laughs> she doesn't have a job. <laughs> Available 24-7 on the free TJ and Riggins app. This is the TJ and Riggins podcast and radio show. When you call Brad and Brothers, you're not only getting industry-leading equipment for heating and cooling, you're also gaining peace of mind. With over 1,000 reviews and over 50 years in the business, that confirms the superior service they provide. For HVAC and electrical, they will give you the ultimate customer experience. Bradhambrothers.com. Available whenever you want it on the TJ and Riggins app. This is the TJ and Riggins Show. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, um, quickly, make sure you um, you go to uh, tjriggins.com slash help to donate to uh, Peyton's Promise, where we send money to the hurricane victims. Um, we, we've still got that going, and we would appreciate it, and so would they, and then keep praying for them. Right, here we go, the uh, most anticipating part of the week on the show, and that is Rick Riggins and his guitar playing a funny song called The Week in Review. And this is my song, it's called The Week in Review. It's a week's worth of shows summarized for you. No special effects and no auto-tune. Just me and my guitar performing for you. And Lindsay's back on the show, which is totally not a goof. Everyone needs more money, and her weave is not inflation-proof. <laughs> she brings a different kind of energy. She now has a daughter and a son. It's an energy that's hard to describe, like a drunk aunt, which is kind of fun. <laughs> She's only coming in a few days a week, which is probably good for our mental health. She can't be here every day, because Home Goods won't shop itself. <laughs> and this is my song. It's called The Week in Review. It's a week's worth of shows summarized for you. No special effects and no auto-tune 
Just me and my guitar performing for you. Uh, the new Joker musical is now in theaters, taking chances is part of the art, but sometimes it turns out poorly, like when you take a chance on a fart. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> McDonald's is releasing a new chicken Big Mac next week is when it comes out. Interesting timing with the Diddy arrest. I see what this is about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rob's cousin passed out face down after enjoying a pizza buffet. <laughs> Rob, maybe it's time to have a chat because I've never hit rock bottom, but I think it would look like that. <laughs> this is my song. It's called a week in review. It's, it's a, a week's worth of shows summarized for you. No special effects and no auto-tune. Just me and my guitar performing for you. Uh, today is National Body Language Day. Celebrate however you please. If my body spoke a language, my guess would be fat and ease. Um, they polled a bunch of NFL players who said Taylor Swift would be good for the game as a whole. Uh, no word on how many of these players were concussed when they answered the poll. <laughs> Um, today is also National Cinnamon Roll Day. Made more at home than in restaurants. The tragedy of making a pan of cinnamon rolls is there's only one that anyone wants. <laughs> this, this is my song. It's called The Week in Review. It's a week's worth of shows summarized for you. No special effects and no auto-tune. Just me and my guitar performing for you. Good, good. Very nice. Thank you. Now, um, Thank you. are you talking about the middle one? I That's think the one that everybody wants? The, 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 the edges one, you know, we ha we couldn't eat that middle one. That was from a mom. Uh -huh. She made them. She was like, we just knew not to touch that one. Yeah. Is there a thing like brownies? Because everybody, like, everybody likes the, the crust of the brownie now, right? Yeah, the edges. Yeah. 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 I would much rather have the corner brownie than sure. the one in the middle. But Yeah, it works just the opposite when mm -hmm. you talk yeah. about cinnamon rolls in a pan. Actually, I would rather have... All of the brownies. I could eat an entire... Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty good. Yeah. Any yeah. part of mm -hmm. the brownie is pretty good. Right, right, right. <laughs> all right, thank you for that musical offering, Riggins. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Our buddy Richard Takato is here. Yes, Richard Takato at 704-800-4719. Now, Richard, you're a vet, so you're always going to take care of the vets. Am I right? Absolutely. And as veteran, you know, I understand the unique needs of those who served. And right now, if they have bought a house in the past few years, they need a rate reduction VA loan. It's simple. It's cheap. And we have the absolute best rates. I take care of my veterans. Call me at 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company. Equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 38652. Point and stare at TJ and Riggins anytime you want on YouTube. This is the TJ and Riggins Show. Just a couple of things you might have missed in the news yesterday. Tech D. Rob was the first person to tell us that the chicken Big Mac was coming to McDonald's. Yeah. And he said, I, I just have a feeling it'll be out today. <laughs> I don't know what he was basing that on. He just said he had a feeling. They've been teasing it for the first week of October for a long time, and it's still not out as of yesterday. I kept looking. Yeah, it's out on October 10th. Yeah, it's so, Thursday. <laughs> no. So uh, you were a little off, but you were the first person to bring that to our attention. So it is exactly like a Big Mac. But instead of the meat, the beef, you get two chicken patties. And it looks like it's a different kind yeah. of chicken patty than you find on the McChicken. Rob says it's made out of the chick, chick, uh, chicken McNugget chicken and not the chicken uh, sandwich chicken. Okay. Yeah, and the, the breading on it is just like the chicken nugget. Okay. Which, mm -hmm. is, which is the best part of the chicken nugget. You're a chicken nugget. That, that breading is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then, was it yesterday that you were mad because Sonic didn't text you in time? Or was it the day before? I had already eaten lunch at 10.30, before 10.30, and then 10.30, they send a message, buy one, get one free on Coney Dogs. Yeah. Footlong uh, Coney Dogs. <laughs> because they probably figured that if we send it at 10.30, <laughs> then that'll be right as people are making a decision about where they may want to go to lunch. Exactly. I need not, them to adjust. Not they've already eaten lunch <laughs> and they're going to be mad at us. <laughs> I'm sending a strongly worded letter. <laughs> you should. That's offensive. And then the other thing you might have missed, and I thought about TJ and his family. TJ and his family love watching cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies or Lifetime or whatever they're on. Yeah, Hallmark. It's Hallmark. I don't, yeah, I don't look at Lifetime. Don't like the Lifetime no. ones. Well, there's a new show coming to Hallmark. It's called Finding Mr. Christmas, mm -hmm. and they're looking for the next Hallmark Christmas hunk. 
<laughs> to star in a Hallmark Christmas huh. movie. Oh, fun. And uh, here is what uh, the some of the contestants are having to say. I'll be Mr. Christmas because I bring a lot of good energy to the table. Maybe pull off a few flannels every once in a while. Besides my amazing smile, there's the perseverance, the resilience, the charm. Somebody who cares, somebody who loves their family. It takes a little bit of love and kindness. Drive, character, strong jawline. I will definitely be Mr. Christmas because I can sing, dance, and act. So here I am. Mm. I'm ready for this step. I'm committed. I'm passionate. Full of love. Confident. Happy. I embody a lot of the ideals that Hallmark really has. I want to be able to bring the magic that Christmas brings to everybody in their home. Yeah. So. I so want- being masculine doesn't have to be a qualification, <laughs> I guess. I mean, maybe not. If you're that guy, <laughs> yeah. one guy was triple threat. He's yeah. an actor, a singer, and a dancer. So. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard. I'm going to bring the some other ones. The other one said that he just brings an energy of some sort. And he was Southern. He was Southern fella using that phraseology. <laughs> yeah. So mm. is it, are they, do, they, do you have to be a hunk to be on a Hallmark Christmas movie? Is that part one of the requirements? Um, kind of, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, you're always somebody's love interest, Yeah, you know, so probably. Is this something that Jody would watch? Oh, yeah. Finding Mr. Christmas. Yeah. Oh, so it's a reality show? Then? It's a reality yeah. show yeah, with watch. like 10 guys, yeah. 10 hunky guys right. trying to be Mr. Christmas. But I don't know why it matters what their personality is like, because yeah. they're going to be acting and, and being whatever kind of a part that the the writers make them be. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, we don't <laughs> care like, about your energy. I bring a certain energy and charm. To, what do you mean charm? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jonathan, write, we're yeah. on page 36. Just read <laughs> yeah. the script, buddy. Right. Thank you. You got an entire paragraph <laughs> on this page. <laughs> And they're not going to be the leading men, though, are they? Yes. They will be a leading yes. man thing? Okay. Yeah. So we'll see how that turns out. Finding Mr. Christmas on Hallmark. More TJ and Riggins coming up. The Cabarrus Arena has a packed calendar right now. But if you need space for an event, they've got you covered. 150,000 square feet of space to suit any event needs. They've got it. Go to CabarrusArena.com to check them out. CabarrusArena.com. Point and stare at TJ and Riggins anytime you want on YouTube. This is the TJ and Riggins Show. Oh, time for um, some stupid audio from the uh, social medias and the internet. Not just the social medias, but the internet and uh, and Wi-Fi devices as well. (laughs) Nailed it. The (laughs) Hi-Fi Wi-Fi device. Um. Riggins said that this had him cackling. Uh, it's a, a young woman who is talking to a police officer on the side of the road, and she's reciting the alphabet. So um, let's just uh, we'll listen to it and then uh, and then go from there. So A, B, C, D, E, F, D, A, R, J, F, S, I, M, N, P, Q, R, X, I, M, N, P. All right. So <laughs> at the end, she said, are you mad at me? <laughs> You are, she's like she's on the verge of tears. She's like Gen Z, you know. And then she uh, recite the alphabet: A B C D E F D H I J K. Are you mad at me? <laughs> Is that some kind of a, a thing that came along for uh, kids after I was uh, uh, out, no. of, out of elementary school? You end uh, it with instead of saying "Aren't you proud of me?" You say "Are you mad at me?" <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard that song. Yeah, you've never heard, aren't uh-uh. you? ABC, D, E, F, G, the song. Yeah. Now, I've said my ABCs. Um, won't you t- are you proud of me? Or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. That's funny. It was some version of it. I picture her one sentence away from being, like, can I call my dad? Like, she just, <laughs> that's got to be terrifying when you have to do oh, yeah. a sobriety yeah. test. And then the, the police officer was just like, okay. All right. Are you mad at me? All right. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, today is uh, Free Ad Friday, and uh, for Free Ad Friday, we find something that we like in the uh, in the social media's audio, and uh, this is one of our favorites, named Jeffrey Searles from Dunn, North Carolina, from Jeffrey Searles Designs. His posts uh, and his um, his little ads just make us smile. Yeah. Hey friends, you might hear Callie Lou in the kitchen. She's not happy because we closed her off from this part of the house because she wanted to be the center of the of the video. We just can't have that right now. But anyway, this stem on our webpage, JeffreySearlsDesigns.com. I love it. Make sure you bend and you play with the eucalyptus. And then look at how we nestle two in right there, grouping them this way with the pumpkins on the back. 
Get your fall on, y'all. It's time. Come see us at Jeffrey Searles Living Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday from 10 to 3, or visit us on jeffreysearlsdesigns.com. All of these are on there, but don't waste any time because quantities are limited. Thank you so much for following us. Have a great day and find your joy. I love that. We, had, that we had to put Callie Lou in another part of the yeah, house. Callie Lou. There Callie Lou is not happy. He's barking in the background. And what's the uh, stem? The stem? Yeah. The, what uh, is eucalyptus? That? Eucalyptus stem. Oh, it's yeah. a plant stem. Okay. Well, it goes in wreaths and decorations and, and all of that. Yeah, you put, you put them thing. stem to stem so they're just like going out like a bow tie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, love him. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I've never been to Dunn, North Carolina, but one day... One day we're going to take a field trip. We got to go. And get up there. <laughs> so that, that's it for a free ad Friday. <laughs> Available 24-7 on the free TJ and Riggins app. This is the TJ and Riggins podcast and radio show. Hey, it's TJ, and it's time for you to lose that weight you've been talking about for a long time. And you think, well, I can't get this weight off. I've tried, and it seems like the only way I'm going to be able to do it is with some of these expensive drugs. Well, you don't want to do that. You need Calitrin. Order Calitrin today. That could help you lose weight the safe, effective way. Go to tjriggins.com slash weight loss. tjriggins.com slash weight loss and try Calitrin today. It's Calitrin. Mm. This is the TJ and Riggins podcast and radio show. From the Calitrin studios. Actually, it's just one studio now. Rob's done moved into here. So uh, from the Calitrin, Calitrin cramped studio. <laughs> Cold no, studio in I'm, here, too. I'm kidding. You want to lose weight? The... Uh, the safe, effective way, not giving yourself shots with side effects, then uh, order Calitrin today, tjriggins.com slash weight loss. Uh, Rob, did you you said you were watching that new um, uh, Kristen Bell and Adam Brody yes. show on the Netflix? Nobody wants this, is what it's called. Now, my wife and I were debating as to whether or not that's going to be one to watch together because, you know, if it's too, if it's too, you know, woman-y, Mm -hmm. She doesn't want me watching it with her because I, you know, I make comments and I laugh and things like that. So she doesn't like that. Is it, um, is it one that I would enjoy? I don't think so. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. I, I, it's really funny at times, but it's also really sappy at times. Yeah. That's the way the one is that I'm watching now. It's called uh, Monsters, the Men <laughs> Menendez story. <Yeah. laughs> That's such a sweet story. Uh, no, but uh, we are watching that together. And let me tell you something. I know it's it, it's got a lot of hype, and a lot of people are, have already watched it and everything. But if you haven't, I'm going to tell you, it's got some of the best acting that I have seen in a long time in it. Really? I mean, it is fantastic artistically. Yeah. You know, <laughs> obviously, the story's gut-wrenching and, and all of that, but... The guy that plays Eric Menendez, especially, is just he's one of the one of the best actors that I've seen probably in ten years. He's just great. Wow. Absolutely great. That's an endorsement. Yeah. Um but, you know, it it it's not quite as funny as I thought it was gonna be. It's <laughs> a little bit a little bit uh No, I'm kidding. It, it's good though. If you if you have the Netflix and you haven't seen it yet, you you might want to watch it. It's good. Is, I, I hate promoting the Netflix like that, but yeah, is the acting good on that Fire Country show you're watching? <laughs> no. I watched a clip of no. that. I went, "This that's is why the we, show TJ and Jody are watching. Right. It's horrible." And that's why we watch it. As it, we, we watch it because it's horrible. It's kind of like you know, back when you you know young and you go to a strip club where all of them are are, yeah. are guaranteed to be ugly. Right. It's kind of like that because we do. It's a a, a melodramatic show on cbs and we it's, watch it till and we laugh at it oh my gosh i saw i went oh this is the show they're watching i, turned around, I was like there's no way this is the show it's so bad. <laughs> that's funny yeah and um you know i told you i thought maybe because it's all about a fire department in california northern california and that they never they never speed yeah. to a fire in the fire truck it's always just they show the truck and it's just barely moving along and i was wondering if that was because of you know People getting triggered but because something, uh, um, an emergency vehicle is putting people at risk yeah. for going fast. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny. 
But not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. Fine. No. I'm looking but up. it's one of those where the people are all good looking. Like it's about, you know, got a lot of young people in it and they're yeah. all good looking. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the poster of it and ha- half of the people are are posed with their backs to the camera turn, looking over their shoulder. <laughs> <Brood Yeah. laughs> it would be like if Hallmark did a serious drama <laughs> is, is what, it, what it really looks like. Holy. Uh, Jody said it kind of reminds her of Virgin River, that same type of, of yeah. production. Okay. All here. right. Well, uh, everything you need to know uh, coming up in Now Trending. Available 24-7 on the free TJ and Riggins app. This is the TJ and Riggins podcast and radio show. Ladies, I know you want your men to be more like me, so you can start by getting the guy in your life, the Wally Jr. MagSafe phone wallet from Distill Union. Save 20% now when you use the promo code ACETJ at acetj.com slash gift. The most important stories in the world. This is now trending on the TJ and Regan show. TJ, have you seen this viral video of the moms in China fighting in a ball pit that's no. meant for children? No, I haven't. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, throwing haymakers, oh, dragging wow. each other to the ground in a ball pit. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, punching and pulling hair. And, yeah, Scratching. Crazy. Why are they in there? No one seems um, to have the backstory about what happened Leading up to this fight, somebody's baby got, you know, disrespected or something. <laughs> is, that, is that what we're caught? I guess that's what happens a lot of times at Chuck E. Cheese. You that's, know? that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, and the onlookers are horrified because I mean it's a it's a bloody fist fight in a ball pit. And wouldn't that be hard to maintain your balance and all that yes. in a ball pit to there's, be able to fight somebody? There's a thousand reasons why you shouldn't fight in a ball pit. <laughs> One, it's in front of kids, and also, yeah, you lose your you Just can't don't. stand up. Okay. Um, Pretty unbelievable stuff, though. So that thankfully that happened in China, not here. But uh, if it does happen here, I'm sure it'll yeah. go viral again. Absolutely. Mm. Um, so that movie that Alec Baldwin was filming, Rust, where the the producer was killed, mm-hmm. he shot. Uh, uh, did he? Did they determine he fired the gun? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know how to say that, but the woman died after a gun uh, was fired and she was killed. That movie is still going to be released, and it's going to happen next month. At yeah. a film festival, so mm-hmm. I don't know. Is that the right move? Do you, out of respect for her and her family? Do yeah, you say, I wouldn't. But then again, I, I'm not a, a soulless Hollywood person <laughs> either. So, you know, they they probably are looking at it like, oh, we're we're going to get a lot more attention from it now than we ever would have if it hadn't gone off the way it did. You hate to think that that's the mindset, but you can't help it. Yeah. Like we still get, we made the movie, and a lot of people need mm-hmm. a paycheck. So. I don't know, but that movie will be uh, debuting. Will you see it? No. No. And I love Alec Baldwin as an actor. I think as a person, a little scary. Yeah, I'm the same way. I like his work. But, but no, yeah. I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit through this. No, thanks. Did you say that he wasn't going to the premiere? Did you see that? Yeah, he's not going to the yeah, premiere. They, he, that's a smart move. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and then just something just in time for uh, Halloween. TJ, I want you to show your wife Jolly Rancher ropes. Oh, I know oh, she's wow. a big fan of the nerd rope, mm-hmm. and I know she likes the Jolly Rancher. So I think the ladies are going to love this one. It's chewy, then obviously. It's a little chewy, and uh, what are, are they available sweet? now? I believe so. Okay, where? Because I'll go get her some on the way home as a little surprise. <laughs> I'll find out and I'll let you know. What are okay. the flavors? Uh, we got a uh, watermelon cherry, all the usual suspects, and. Uh, Green apple, so delicious. Uh, a story I've been following on TikTok for the last couple of days. It's intense, I'll tell you next. This is the TJ and Reagan Show. Our buddy Richard Takato is here. Yes, Richard Takato at 704 800 4719. Now, Richard, you're a vet, so you're always going to take care of the vets. Am I right? Absolutely. And as veteran, you know, I understand the unique needs of those who served. And right now, if they have bought a house in the past few years, they need a rate reduction VA loan. It's simple, it's cheap. And we have the absolute best rates. I take care of my veterans. Call me at 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company. Equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 38652. Available whenever you want it on the TJ and Riggins app. This is the TJ and Riggins Show. I'm going to have to contain my excitement because this is not my thing. This is TJ's thing. So I feel like I'm kind of you know, you know, whatever. stepping on toes, stepping on toes a little bit. True crime story on TikTok that is unraveling in real time. I'll just give you the synopsis. A woman, she's 34. She lives in Columbus, Ohio. Her name is Katie 
Century, I think is how you pronounce it. And you, ladies, I know you've been watching because I've seen millions of views on these videos in the last three days. She lives with her boyfriend. She, they've got kids. They're doing some construction on the outside of their house. They want to put in like a fence. Uh -huh. And they started to dig the hole for the fence post, not knowing all the details, but they wanted to build this fence. It was going to be minor. So they start digging, and then they couldn't get any further, about a foot into the ground. And they realized there's a rug buried right outside their house a rug. Mm -hmm. And they said, if we start digging this way, there's a tree planted right over this rug. And if we go the other way, the ground is too hard to get any further. And then she finds the tag from the tree that's planted right above it. It's called a blood good uh, tree. Kind of weird. She calls the police and says, hey, uh, we can't go any further uh, digging in the ground. Can you have somebody come look out here? We're just not sure. Why would there be a rug? They're thinking yeah. there's a body yeah, wrapped under up there. in there. Yeah. So they send out police. And in the last three days, they've sent out police twice. And uh, yesterday, they brought out a dog that searches for corpses and yeah, things like that. A cadaver dog. A cadaver dog. And she's recording this the whole time. The dog is walking around, and all of a sudden, the dog sits right down on his butt, right next to this hole that they've been digging. Mm-hmm. And the police tell her that, well, these dogs are trained in cemeteries, so it might there might just be blood on this rug, or it could be worse, there could be a body in your front yard. So the forensics team is coming out today to go investigate a little bit further. So I am totally involved in this drama, but wouldn't that be the craziest thing ever? Yeah, and so do they say what time they're going to be posting stuff? No, it's just kind of happening. She posted her last update like six hours before our show started today, yeah. early in the morning. So she's been up 24 hours wondering, oh my gosh, there might be a body in my yard. Why don't they just dig up what it is? They can't They can't do it. The police don't have the, the manpower to actually dig up this because the yeah. ground is so hard, so they're going to have to bring in excavators, I think. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's shag carpet. They think it's from the 60s or 70s, but there might be a body in there. Hey, it's TJ, and I am telling you what. If you haven't seen Jewelers on Main in Mooresville, you're really missing out. Beautiful, beautiful pieces with jewelry repair done in-house. You can even design your own piece of jewelry. You're going to love them. Jewelers on Main in downtown Mooresville. Point and stare at TJ and Riggins anytime you want on YouTube. This is the TJ and Riggins Show. Riggins, I cannot believe that you are not into this story that has gone viral. I saw it yesterday. Bless you, Rob. I saw it yesterday of this actual up-close video proof of uh, Big Bigfoot. Have you seen it? I did see that got 1.2 million views on the tiktok yeah and it's uh it's a it's a sasquatch just lying in the uh in the woods propped up on a tree trunk <laughs> just chilling and then the the guy who um who videoed it you know he's screaming i really think i caught a blanking bigfoot on camera he did it's the oh, most sasquatch it's, sasquatch i've ever seen yeah it's in oklahoma yeah and um I, but, and the reason I say it because I know you you uh, you are still you know fifty fifty on whether you believe in the big feats or not. There's a lot of things we don't know out in nature. I mean, <laughs> but uh, this one uh, did strike me as maybe a guy in a costume. Think, I don't I don't know. You think the, what gave it away? The way he's just lying there in the woods, and then he sees the camera guy, and he just kind of like, mm, <laughs> sup? Yeah. You know, it's like, a very human like quality. Oh, hey. Uh, just Sorry. out here, just been uh, been to Party City. Just came out here for lunch. Yeah, in the peace and quiet. What are you doing here? <laughs> it looks like the Redneck uh, Blair Witch Project. <laughs> it I mean, does because he's terrible. like dropping his camera and running. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on! <laughs> but I saw TMZ picked it up. It was everywhere yesterday. And that that's the funny. thing. It, it it's not even the most realistic looking. No. you know, squatch sighting. And I just it's it's obviously crazy. Yeah. Looking and people are, there are a lot of people who are really believing it. They're not just tongue and cheek in it, you know? Yeah. They used to do reality shows about hunting down the squatches. I think they still like, have them. Do oh, they still have them? Yeah. Big, Bigfoot hunters. Really? You know they do. Come on. They missed this one. I never pictured Bigfoot to be in Oklahoma, though. 
No, me either. I, I always assumed that Bigfoot would be somewhere like Mississippi, sure, or or in the maybe even in Tennessee in the Tennessee, hills, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, in Louisiana, where I'm from, they got their own monster, mythical creature called the Rougarou. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, they use that, you know, to scare kids to behave. <laughs> right. Well, you better start making better grades here, and we're gonna put that rougarou on you. You go outside, you're gonna get that rougarou on you. You don't want that. And it's supposedly like a, like a wolf man knockoff, sure, kind of thing. <laughs> you know, in Louisiana, we always have to be different and better. <laughs> Hey, it's TJ, and it's time for you to lose that weight you've been talking about for a long time. And you think, well, I can't get this weight off. I've tried, and it seems like the only way I'm going to be able to do it is with some of these expensive drugs. Well, you don't want to do that. You need Calitrin. Order Calitrin today. That could help you lose weight the safe, effective way. Go to tjriggins.com slash weight loss. tjriggins.com slash weight loss and try Calitrin today. It's Calatron. This is the TJ and Regan's podcast and radio show. Okay, I guess we done started something here. Now everybody's interested in the Rougarou. <laughs> um, I've talked about the Rougarou in the past, but it may have been on some one of our podcasts or something like that. Extra yeah. funny podcast. Yeah. Which um, which comes on every day, and it's. Uh, it's only available on the podcast and uh, it's, um, you know, cussing and stuff and funny. Oh, good. Glad you finally oiled the microphones, Rob. <laughs> <sighs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you out there with that Rougarou. That's what I'm going to do. Sick them. <laughs> so what did you, you went and looked up the Rougarou, Rob, and you and scared it, of it, it just it, looking at the pictures? Well, okay, again, so the, if you didn't hear it earlier, Rougarou is what uh, Cajun... Um, it's a mythical, scary creature in uh, Cajun culture. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's basically a werewolf, but just creepier. Yeah, it's more. Uh, it's more wolf man kind of. Yeah, stands on his back le- on only two legs. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to see it. One second, gotcha. And, and um, sometimes people go out and hunt the rougarou, like they go looking for Bigfoot and stuff. Really, it comes in. It's in the swamps and all that. Oh, yeah. costume of it. Yeah, that yeah. would be terrifying. Mm-hmm. If I was I a kid and somebody threatened me with that, I'd be terrified yeah. too. And that's better if you're going to, I mean, this, it traumatizes the kids, but if you're going to use something like that, that's not my tactics of parenting. But if you are, yeah. it's a lot better to make them scared of a, of a monster like mm-hmm. that. That's a, you know, a fake monster than what this family that uh, grew up around the corner from, from my family did. Um, if they're, um, kids would when they were little if they would uh, want to go outside or something after dark and they'd say you can't go out you already had a bad you're not going back outside yeah. they would tell them the police are out there they're going to get you if you go out there so it made them afraid of the cops <laughs> <laughs> so they go to school and we, you're being taught if you're lost or if you're in danger the first thing you do is try to find a police officer these kids this kids are not, they're not doing it because they're like uh-uh, I'm scared of them they're going to get me so if you're going to, you know, use fear to traumatize your children, do it with a, a mythical creature rather than the police. <laughs> or setting them up early. And I finally, I was little too, and I said, don't make them scared of the cop. <laughs> and they go, okay, well, the devil's going to get you. That's what it was. Mitchell, his name was Mitchell. Mitchell, if you go outside, the devil is going to get you. Now get back in the bed. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I was like, I got to get out of here. Let me go. <laughs> Available 24-7 on the free TJ and Riggins app. This is the TJ and Riggins podcast and radio show.